You guys ready for a shocking new 401k hack and get some of this? Hey everyone, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. I'm going to tell you a brand new hack for your 401k that could allow you to buy much more gold and silver. And let me tell you, gold and silver is where it's at right now. Uh, definitely check out some of my other videos if you want to know more about you know uh, stacking, especially stacking the Yankee way. I have a playlist on it. I'll include it uh, at the end of this video. But uh, a lot of you have a lot of your money locked up in your retirement plan. And many of you have a 401k, maybe you have a, a 403b, an, uh, an IRA, a KIA, some kind of plan that you are using for your retirement. Hopefully you are saving for retirement, but it is usually very limiting. And uh, what I'm going to explain here in this video is how a recent change in government regulations regarding retirement accounts may allow you to withdraw previously invested funds to purchase things that you normally can't with uh, a 401k and you know precious metals physical tangible ones at least are uh, one of the things you really can't do now whether you want to do this or whether you can do this, we'll talk about more of that at the end of the video. But first, some disclaimers. I am not a professional investment or tax advisor. You should know that by now. You need to do your own research, listen to what I say in this video, and then figure it out for yourself, whether it you know, applies to you or not. So that being said, if you are blessed to have an IRA, 401k, whatever, you know the rules have been quite hard and fast. You can't take your retirement money out that has been tax protected until you are 59 and a half years old without a whopping 10% penalty. Yeah, that's, that, that is the nasty thing about early withdrawals from your retirement. Yeah, there are some really special uh, case scenarios or have been for a long time, but normally under you know regular circumstances, you can't touch that money. You can't yank it out once it's in there. It, it's retirement. I mean, that's what this is all about, right? So let's say you had $100,000 in your uh, 401k and you wanted to take it out and do with it what you will, maybe precious metals or some other assets. You would have to pay $10,000 for the privilege to do that, plus taxes on all that you remove. Yeah, and you have to pay that immediately. In the tax year, you take it out. So it's not inconceivable to think that you may end up with, I don't know, sixty, sixty-five thousand dollars That's it. So wow, you can see how uh, dangerous that could be. Now, I did say tax protected because there are different types of retirement accounts. You probably know this. There's the uh, traditional IRA or 401k, uh, where you defer paying your taxes on the contributions and earnings, like dividends and, and capital gains, until later, until you retire. That's when you pay the taxes on, on both contributions and earnings. But there's also the Roth retirement account, where your contributions have been taxed already. It's it's post taxes. <laughs> and it's your earnings that can grow tax deferred until retirement. Uh, either way, <laughs> the IRS is gonna get its cut. It it's just a matter of, you know, when, right? You know, do they get part of it now and the rest later, or all of it later, starting when you're forced to take out your retirement money. So those are the two different types. Uh, and, and that really hasn't changed much, but it did because of the medical crisis that we're facing and the response by the U.S. government with its recent relief package. Right now, here's the deal. If you qualify, you can take out all your retirement money up to $100,000. No penalties. None. They just waived it. And 
by the way, <laughs> you can pay the taxes that you owe on the amount that you've withdrawn over three years. Not all at once, okay? But wait, there's more. You can actually return the money that you took out any time during those three years. And you get your taxes that you paid all back. <laughs> wow. So so basically what they're saying is you can withdraw up to $100,000 penalty-free from your 401k. Now, there is one big criteria for this hack. You have had to have been unfortunately affected by the uh, the big the big C illness. I'm not going to say it, but you, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> if you were affected by the medical issue, this can apply to you. Now, what does that mean, affected? Well, if you're sick or someone in your family is, you could easily qualify. But if you lost your job or even furloughed, or even had your pay reduced, all that counts. That, that, that's being affected. If there are school or daycare impacts, that may be sufficient as well to have you be affected. See, being affected is, is being defined quite broadly by the government. Now, the question is, should you do it? <laughs> the temptation is there, isn't it? Get that money in your hands mm, physically, you know, money that's been locked up, untouchable for, you know, potentially decades. I can see the draw. But but let me talk about the warnings first, okay? Remember, again, this is your retirement. You don't want to play fast and easy with it, okay? That means you don't want to, if you qualify, you don't want to, you know, grab the money and go buy a boat or a you know fancy home theater system or a car or something like that. That that's that's wasteful. That's nuts. And you don't want to risk it with some get rich quick scheme, like crypto or something like that, or you know shorting individual stocks or or maybe shorting the entire market. That is not wise to do with this money, in my opinion, at least. <laughs> that's not what Yankee would do. And. And yes, don't forget that you'll forfeit your company match if you have one, which a lot of uh, plans do. So, uh, you know, l let me tell you what I did years ago. I moved my 401k uh, funds to a self-directed IRA when I was changing jobs. Um, you know, I, I knew that was an option. Most people just roll it over to their new employer's plan. And I did some research before that and I found out, you know what? I can roll it over to a self-directed IRA, a, a truly self-directed IRA. And that way I could uh, invest it uh, in what I deem to be, uh, you know, safer options and get a better uh, return on investment. And so I did that with private mortgage lending, something I could not do with a company 401k. You got to invest in stocks and bonds and mutual funds and ETFs and all that. Uh, and for me, that was totally worth it. So maybe uh, a better option for you might be to continue investing in paper assets, you know, keep getting that match. Just, you know, maybe move them into a more defensive position, you know, like commodities or, you know, Maybe be more speculative with gold and silver mining stocks, whatever. Uh, but maybe that is a better choice. And, you know, stay in your current plan. But what is the potential with this new stimulus option? Well, for one, freedom. Freedom to invest in tangible assets. You get that money, you can buy this stuff. You can, you know, invest in it. I actually should also say maybe insure <laughs> with it. Insure your wealth with things like uh, gold and silver, whatever you want. I mean, I know some people, um, you know, invest in other ways. But right now, as a stacker, I think this is a great insurance uh, policy to have. If you don't have gold and silver, you really do need to at least look at this as a way to hedge uh, against inflation and to protect your current wealth. So that's one thing, freedom. Uh, maybe, maybe getting the cash 
could help you pay off high interest credit card bills or other you know revolving debt. Hopefully, you're not in that situation. But if it's bad, if you've got really high interest debt, maybe a, a good reason to do this. And yes, borrowing against your uh, 401k is an option. I really don't like that option due to you know several you know onerous ramifications. I'm not going to get into it on this video, but I don't really like the loaning option. So what would Yankee do with this particular uh, hack? Well, fortunately, as of the uh, making of this video on Saturday, I have not been adversely affected by the medical crisis. But if I were to be, in, in whatever way uh, you want to define it, I am prepared to move on this. I have two remaining Roth IRAs that have appreciated quite a bit in value. Several years ago, I removed the portion that I contributed, the taxed portion, the, you know, the part that you can remove without penalty, and I reinvested it with PML. But the other portion, the part that had increased over years, I never touched. I mean, there's no way I'm going to take out all that money and give the IRS, you know, 10% of it. But if I am affected through work or uh, my health, my family's health, I am going to take the rest of that money out. Please put uh, a comment down below that, you know, tells me how you feel about this hack, what you would do, and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you know, correct me if I'm wrong in any way in this video. I definitely want to learn, but thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out the uh, description below, and I hope your day is a-okay.